So today we're doing a install and unboxing and review of the Brisa sliding screen door. This attaches right to your exterior frame and as you can see seals up fairly well for a good screen door. So as always, any link in the description below is an Amazon associate link. So if you purchase the screen door from that link, I do get paid from it. So this is what you get in the box. Let's go ahead and open it up and take a look. Pudge! So this is what we have in the package. I went ahead and took all the tape off the edges here. And this is where all your main contents lay. And honestly, uh, keep in mind that this does say installs in 30 minutes or less, but the first install took me probably an hour or so with one other person. So uh, it does take a little bit of time and a little bit of practice, practice and understanding, but we'll go over the troubleshooting tips. So, so the other thing that you want to keep in mind is that the screen side is supposed to be on the hinge side of the door. So when we put that up, it's going to go here. So at this point, what we did is just kind of match up that it matched up to the outside. And the inside, you can see the frame here. And then you have one other screw down here that holds it. And just make sure that it's flush here before you start your install. So now with everything laid out, what we're going to do is frame it all together. We're going to slide the two main frames together on the outside frames. And we'll show you kind of the tips and tricks to that. And then what we're going to do is put the little sill plate on as well. And then what we'll do is up and in onto the door frame. So let's get to the little... Uh, Main frames connecting the side frames. So in installing these side rails, the bottom and top, make sure that when laying this down, you're pushing it inside of the bottom rail. And so this rail here also slides on the back side of the bottom and then also the back side of the top. Also, you're going to want to note to put the screen Make sure that the screen slides in and out where the bristles are to create a good seal. So again, what we're doing here is making sure that the back side of this rail is on the back side of the main frame, like so. Very hard to do one-handed, but uh, you guys get the gist of what's going on there. And then basically what we're going to do is that's actually in to where it's supposed to be. Almost. So what we're doing here is sliding this all the way to make sure that the rail can be pushed all the way in, like so, creating a good solid seal there. Obviously we didn't quite get it over here, but we're going to go ahead and do that right now. So as far as the sill plate goes, you're going to want to extend off to the opposite side of the rolling screen. Extend it as far as you can and wedge it in here. This is a very tricky and kind of difficult part, but basically you're going to wiggle it back and forth and push it in, as seen here. Now 
Once it's in there, you're good to push the rest of the screen back in, securing it in place. So when screwing the two holes onto the frame, basically you're going to want to make sure that it is pushed towards your door frame, right? So we're backing up a little bit here. Keep in mind what we're doing and we're pushing it in to make sure that you get a good seal. And then also make sure that you get a good level playing field with what you're happy with, if my dog would move. And then these here just slide left and right. If you want to be extra fussy, you can do a little bit of a cut with a utility knife to make sure they slide all the way over to create a better seal. So let's go ahead and get this last side bolted in and then we'll touch base on what we need to do here to create a good latch. So at this point, what we have is a fully operational screen door. You basically want to make sure that it's going to latch and it looks like this one does. And your dog goes, what the hell? And we're actually locked out at this point. So, uh, oh, maybe not. That one you just go up. So close, latches, up, opens, and that's it. That was like less than a half hour, and that's no joke. So anyway, guys, as you can see, literally, like the outside of this door frame looks great. A little bit noticeable. I mean, very minor, but we're going to go ahead and walk away from it at this point, turn around, and you can't tell. I mean, so if you guys are looking for a quick install, honestly, um, clearly we're happy with it because we bought two. We bought one here and then one for the front door. Um, the installs, this video hopefully helps you guys with the installs because that one took about an hour. This one over here, it took less than half an hour. We got it done and over with and... Um, Again, just a great product um, for our house. We really don't have a lot of cross breeze on the way in, so this will allow that and keep, I don't know, 98% of the bugs out. So if you found the video helpful, thumbs up. If you kind of made your decision on buying it, don't forget to support the channel by buying it through the link below. Subscribe, like, comment, all that fun stuff. It's all appreciated. Thanks. We'll see you guys next time. So again, what we're doing here is making sure that the back side of this rail is on the... Ooh, let's redo.